Okay, so we want Pi Ohio to be a safe and welcoming place for everybody here uh, to help ensure that um, everybody can have a good time and use this to be able to learn and to grow. Um, in order to help make sure that's possible, we've adopted a code of conduct. In order to participate in Pi Ohio, you must adhere to the code of conduct. Um, please review it at piohio.org slash conduct. If you at any point feel you're being harassed, see someone else being harassed, or have any other concerns about conduct at the conference, please contact us. Um, we have an email, a uh, number you can call or text, um, or you can find a member of staff in person. Staff will have a yellow lanyard that says staff and a red staff ribbon. Like that. Um, and all the contact information is in your program on the inside cover and on the website. Um, for those of you that are new to Pi Ohio, we have a ton of events that you might not be aware of. Uh, for how many folks is this your first Pi Ohio? Oh, this is awesome. Um, so I hope you're in for a treat here because we got a ton. Um, so uh, first of all, and kind of most prominent, are the talks. Um, we have four tracks of talks. Um, this room is going to be split into two, and there's going to be talks on each side after the keynotes. Um, and then there's two talk rooms at the end of the hall. Um, I recommend you get a seat early for the talks you want to see, because some of them are going to be at capacity. Um, there will be no Q&A time after talks. Uh, the speaker should let you know uh, how to contact them after the talk if you do have questions. Some of them are going to say, come meet me in the hall. Some might have an open space. Some might, might want questions online. After a talk uh, has started, uh, there will be a feedback button on the talk description on the website. Um, we'd love to have you rate the talks and give feedback. This will help the speakers, and this will help our program committee uh, do an even better job next year. Uh, we have four tutorials. They all required pre-registration. They're all completely full, and they all have wait lists. Uh, so if you did register for a tutorial, we ask that you be in your seat at least five minutes before the start. At five minutes, we're going to start giving seats that are empty to people that are in line that are already on the wait list in the order that they join the wait list. Um, so if you're on a wait list for a tutorial, you can wait outside the door, see where you are on the list, and see what you think your chances are of grabbing a seat. Um, we're going to continue to fill the seats until the seats are full. Um, so I will say the first tutorial today had 27 seats, and we had 59 people on the wait list. Um, so we sent an email last night to the last 30 of them saying you're not going to make it in. Um, but there's probably only going to be two or three spots filled in that tutorial. So if you don't make it in, know that the tutorials are recorded, um, and we will hopefully post them online within a couple days. Um, and specifically around that beginner tutorial, I think we've taken that as uh, a hint that we need to have a little more content like that. Uh, we have open spaces. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term, there are self-organizing, meetup-like events um, that are going to be held in a room uh, in this hallway here. There will be a sign outside the door, uh, kind of at the end of the break time, where you can sign up for a topic, put your name, and see who shows up, and then have a good discussion. Uh, we have lightning talks. At the end of both days, we're going to have a series of five-minute talks. Uh, they're a hard limit of five minutes um, on any topic that folks think might be of interest to this group here. Um, the sign-ups for this will be outside registration, again, around the end of the, the break time here. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, how many folks went to the sprints and reception? Cool. Okay. I hope a few more go to the reception tonight. Um, so the, uh, the Forge at Accenture has uh, provided the space for us to get together. They're providing some food and drinks and... Uh, some time to be able to either work on projects or just chat. Uh, we do have a RSVP link on the website. So if you go to piohio.org slash sprints, uh, it'll take you to the link where you can RSVP. If you are planning on going tonight, 
please RSVP around noon, by around noon today, so we can get an accurate count just for food. If you don't RSVP, though, uh, feel free to still show up. Um, on the back of your program, there's a map of this whole space. Um, so it, it should make it pretty clear where everything is. Um, but just to point a few things out, right now we're in the combined cartoon one and two. Um, and this wall will close at the end of the keynote time. Um, and the other thing to note is there is a quiet workroom across the hall. So it's kind of separated from this space. If you need to get away from the commotion or just get some work done or just want some quiet, uh, there's a room across the hall. You can do that. Uh, please, just if you're in that room, be quiet. Uh, so PyOhio is run entirely by volunteers. We have 40 volunteers uh, or more on site making things happen. Uh, and we have about 13 organizers that plan the event ahead of time. We'd love to expand this group, uh, get some more voices, get some more people. If you have any interest in organizing a conference, it's great fun. Um, you can email info at pyohio.org and we will put you on a list. Um, so this conference is free to attend, and that's something that we're really proud of. Um, but it's not free to produce. It, it costs a decent amount of money. Uh, these companies here have all given us money to make this happen. So, yeah. <laughs> if you have contact with folks at any of these companies, let them know that their sponsorship is appreciated and that it's important to you. We want them to keep coming back. Um, I do want to call out two specific sponsors. Uh, Google Cloud um, is our premier sponsor, and they joined on really early, and this gave us a really good foundation for the year. Uh, so we weren't worried about uh, being able to get some stuff done. Um, and they let me know that they're proud to sponsor PyOhio because supporting the Python community, both in conferences and in the cloud, is one of their top priorities. Um, I also want to thank Level 12. Um, kind of at the end of our planning period when we were figuring out the final things we could and couldn't do for this conference, uh, it looked like we were running a little short. And Level 12 contacted us and said they wanted to make up the difference. Um, so you'll see their logo is on your swag bags, and they have uh, made sure that we have coffee for the day. Um, yeah, so that's a big deal. And uh, let's see, I think of two more things. So um, while, we're, while we're here, if you want to stay connected with folks and uh, just chat, um, there's some people that coordinate places to go to lunch or go to dinner, um, and there's channels for sprints and everything. We do have a, a Slack team. You can invite yourself by going to slack.pyohio.org, um, put in your email, and it'll send you an invite. Um, and then if you're going to tweet about things here, use the hashtag uh, PyOhio, and then we'll watch it and retweet and, uh, and connect like that. Um, the one thing that I, I just realized I don't have a slide for um, is t-shirts. So if you prepaid for a t-shirt and pre-ordered, they're going to be available in the round room area. Um, and so make sure to get your t-shirt today if you can. Starting tomorrow, uh, midday, we're going to start selling the extra t-shirts we have, and near the end of the day, we're going to start selling the t-shirts that haven't been picked up yet. Um, the way that works is uh, for a $40 or more donation, you get a t-shirt. So this is kind of like your NPR tote bag or mug. Um, this isn't you buying a t-shirt, just to, to make that clear. Um, we make the t-shirts something separate because we know not everyone wants them, um, and then we can use them as a fundraiser to make this all happen. So with that, welcome to PyOhio 2019.